today is a celebration. For me, it's a celebration of a victory over hate. It's a celebration of a victory over traditions that were designed to hurt and oppress people. And it also is a day to remember the legacy and the life of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We're here at East High School celebrating the 39th annual MLK celebration. And this is sort of our huge community event. It is the MLK rally in March. And we are here to celebrate the legacy of Dr. King and the work that he did and how it relates to what's happening today. On behalf of the entire, entire University of Utah, I'm excited to welcome you and I want to say thank you. Dr. King's very life was spent choosing love over hate. And let me remind you, my friends, my family, my neighbors, our community, love is an active word. Love is an action. Each of you, I know, the other 364 days of the year, continue to live embodying the spirit of Martin Luther King Jr. Movements don't go back. They only move forward, and they may have peaks and valleys, but throughout time, we're making progress. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. believed that goodness would prevail, and I believe that. We have a whole generation of students who are growing up um, and only know of Dr. King as a historical figure, not as a, a live figure that actually um, led the civil rights movement. And so this is really bringing him to life and bringing him off the pages of history books. We need change, okay? We need to be respectful of everybody's cultures, their race, their beliefs, and collectively we need to do that together. It makes a stronger community, but also it makes a stronger uh, nation. This country has right now it has a lot of hatred, uh, a lot of uh, separation. So this here is, is preaching love, something that Martin Luther King always uh, expressed, you know. So yes, it, this is the perfect time. It's important for us to show solidarity. I think it's important to show that different cultures, different religions, all can come collectively together to stand for one cause. Together we're stronger. For me and my children and their children, my grandchildren, so it's, it's, it's for those of the future. Well, you know, as long as you got hope, it's, it's gonna to continue to work. This community, and particularly this campus, has a soul. It is a soul that wants to make our society and our community better. You can feel it. You can feel people that want to make a deep and impactful change on an individual level to make our lives better. Nobody does this alone. The reason he was successful is because he insisted on not doing it alone. What he said was, we must walk on in the days ahead with an audacious faith in the future. And that's the way I want us to walk today. Let's walk audaciously. Let's walk audaciously for change and knowing that each of us at an individual level can do something different in our communities and our families to bring justice and to bring a better life to all of us.